On the western banks of the Euphrates River is a town rising from its ashes. New buildings are going up on almost every street of Jarablus, in stark contrast to other parts of Syria where they're being destroyed. It's a construction boom in a war-torn country. The population here has increased tenfold since rebel fighters backed by Turkish forces captured the town from Daesh one year ago. But while the town is quickly recovering from its physical damage, some residents still carry the emotional scars inflicted by the terror group. Fawaz wasn't silent about his opposition to Daesh's rule. He said he'd celebrate like it was his birthday the day its fighters left. Those words came with a hefty price. He was imprisoned for 90 days. They knocked on my door, covered my face, and put a gun to my head, and then they brought me here. They tied me up and hanged me from the ceiling and keep beating me until I was unconscious. This lasted for three months. One year later, Fawaz is able to enjoy the feeling of freedom and security. Jarablus was the first town liberated in Turkey's Operation Euphrates Shield. It was launched to secure part of northern Syria near the Turkish border and to create a safe zone. While Jarablus may be one of the safest towns in Syria, there's still an ongoing civil war in most parts of the country. And security here is an extremely important matter. Behind this wall are the town's most vital institutions, like the police headquarters, military command, local council, as well as the region's only hospital. Daesh once used it as a prison, but this building now provides a full range of medical care. Most of the patients initially coming into its emergency room had war injuries. Now its doctors treat problems seen at any regular hospital. But now and then, they still deal with injuries that are a result of the terror left behind. How did you get injured? I was injured when I went out looking for land to farm. When I was looking, a mine went off. The liberation of Jarablus has meant more and more Syrians are coming here in search of a better life. Because Jarablus is a safe region, we are beginning to see some difficulties arise from the high number of displaced people who are coming here. There's population pressure on the city. Old residents are returning. Newcomers are also being drawn to the city. Jarablus might be struggling to cope, but its people bring with them the muscle to rebuild and the hope that peace brings prosperity. Ali Janayanlar, TRT World, in Jarablus, northern Syria.